Hey guys, it's Joe Heinrich here with Valhalla Productions here to make you guys another Terraforma Craft tutorial video. Um, as you can see here, oh yeah, you might be wondering why I'm running so fast. Well, Smart Moving just recently had an update in which you can turn up your movement speed. So for all intents and purposes, we're going to uh, turn this back down. Um, spent all day yesterday rebuilding my tutorial world again because uh, we were having some uh, generation issues. Basically, I had ores spawn inside of my forge and my... Uh... Yeah. So, um... But that was my part because I... That was my fault because I decided to change some things um, to see if it would do anything. Yeah, bad idea. I recommend not trying to change files. Um, as you can see, it's pretty darn basic on the outside. Um, the only detail I really spent time on was the inside. But, um, guys, this is uh, bringing down the hammer part two. I'm going to go more into detail. And uh, we're going to make... Oh, what's that? Oh, what are these cool things? Oh, that's right. This is uh, build 52E, guys. Um, new stuff. If you look at uh, sticks, there's now a weight and a size. So if it's light and it's tiny, you're going to stack up to 64. If it's medium and medium, it's going to stack to 16. If it's heavy and medium, you're probably maybe going to get only 8 to stack. So uh, if you're medium and tiny, though, you will still get 64. So uh, there's that. Our uh, logs still stack, stack to 16. But guess what? Remember how I mentioned how I wish that small ores could stack to 16? Well, they do now. See, I'm going to split these up right here. Restack them. That's right. They go up to 16 now. So, uh, as you can see, I've uh, started with uh, getting some copper ingots going here. So, I will go back up here and uh, hammer out some more stuff. Got, got a forge set up here, as well as um, a few other things, but don't worry about that yet. There we go. Yes, I know. It's, it's not smart to jump down holes. But I don't care! Anybody don't care. Anybody don't give a darn. So there is our... Uh, Good old anvil here. Um, I uh, shucks. Tools are now uh, medium and large, so they will only stack to one. Sorry, guys, no luck for you there. Um, but they did. Biox added this new thing called a tool rack, and I'm going to show you guys how to make it. We're going to uh, get our. Well, we're going to put this axe up. Right there. We're going to get the saw down. No, no, no. Come on. And there we go. Alright. So uh, we'll put the saw in here. Get this guy out to knock out eight planks. But, yeah, that's right, guys. Saws now only go to eight. Axes only knock out three. So the days of yore are gone. Um, I personally don't like this, but what can we do? Um, I want to see how big these things stack to. Okay, so planks only stack to 32 now. Um, that makes a little bit more sense. I'm not sure how big the big planks go up to. But, that's not important right now. What's important is, I want to show you guys how to make your little tool things. And there you go. Uh, you can do this with any type of plank. Um, you just got to make sure that's all the right type. They do have to be the same planks for this. So we have an oak tool rack. We're going to go into my room. Put a... Torches there. I'm mm. going to put it right here. And... Um, as you can see, there's nothing in here. I want to right. There, I'm right clicking right now. Nothing's happening. Left click. Nothing happening. But when I have a tool in my hand and I poke at this one right here, this little thing, it goes in there. 
and then I right click it and it comes out and I put it in that one and it comes out and so on and so forth what sometimes it glitches out and it goes up top so I would not suggest keeping it in high places so if I remember correctly I was going to show you guys how to make some uh, some tools or not tools but uh, how to make armor and this is going to be an extremely long process guys so please bear with me like I told you before this is going to be an extremely long episode and um, yeah, it's just gonna take a while mainly because what why are you not showing up as working now cuz coal didn't go down son of a gun I'm just gonna pop back up here there we go now it's going so yeah we're just gonna be chugging along here um, have a lot of charcoal a lot of charcoal and uh, oh let me show you my indoor charcoal room so for an indoor charcoal room all you need is uh, brick surrounding it and uh, yeah make sure that's brick that's surrounding the entire thing then if you want you can put wood around it your choice um, I just have my stone here anyhow um, here's the stuff in here and as you can see I had packed it pretty darn thick um, and then all you need to do is put a door and you can see it works great I don't have to go outside and worry about getting creeper bombed while I'm looking at that while I'm checking my uh, very very important uh, charcoal production I'm making a uh, making a basement down there it's not complete yet but you guys don't need to see me doing that um, let's see what else I made I made a docks outside by the way I made a non jump overable fence this will take more um, brick or whatever stone you're using to do but I think for what it looks and it's it's well worth it well well worth it in my opinion um oh let me let me found let me show you the little mine that I show that I found it's actually pretty good um, I was just trying to find ores and I had already cleared out one area of ores but this I just found recently and I can't believe I missed it at first but um it's a it's a pretty darn good find just pop on down here and um, we got cassiterite and we got copper basically right on top of each other so uh, great great find we're going to be messing with that later in when we get into mining techniques but that is our sample right there okay so let's get back inside as you can see I made multiple entrances into my house that is because if I'm outside running around doing something I don't want to have to run all the way to the front what are you doing boat I have a floating boat no I don't that's right you stay down watching you anyhow as you can see here I put wool here the reason I put wool is uh usually wool has a tendency to break things less I don't know maybe it's just me being paranoid I don't know if there's any actual numbers to it but whenever I've had wool on my docks I, it hardly ever crashes and remember you kill still can crash that thing it, it it's not invincible just so you know it is not invincible so I'm gonna get down here again toss more of that and more of these there we go plop down 
check this. Yeah, we're good. So, what we're going to need to do, of course, guys, is uh, we're going to have to wait <laughs> for our... Oh. Oh, snap. Oh, 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 geez. oh, geez. I hope they're still workable. Uh, what we're going to need to do is... No, they're not. And Which means we're going to have to put stuff in here. Yay. Um, shoot. Well, it looks like I'm making a uh, fire starter. Get back here. Put these up in there. That way they can start heating up. And I found a way to uh, keep our ingots from going away. We put ceramic molds over here and that will keep them from popping out. So there's that. There's a small bit of respite. So, once I'm going to close this door. I don't want to get bopped in or anything like that. Let's see here. How are these guys working? Okay, hot, dark red, dark red. Put some more charcoal in there. Now what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to weld these guys together. So, uh, remember our formula guys. Upset twice, light hit three times. Real quick, easy way to do it. And then we put it in here right after that's done. We weld it together. Bam. Now what I'm going to show you guys is how to change it from a heavy uh, copper ingot into a sheet. So we're going to want to shrink three times, bend once, and light hit three times. And we're going to get our, sheet, our copper sheet. So as you can see, there's our copper sheet. Um, man, these guys have already lit yellow. Dang, I must not have been paying attention very well. So we're going to wait for these guys to cool down. And uh, so you have your sheet here. Let us uh, let me show you what's next on the list. So get yourself some paper and some markings. Head over to your scribing table. I'm going to show you guys how to make armor. That is your helmet. That's your plate helmet. Just like a normal, just like a normal one, it's just going to be like this, just up right here. Uh, chest plate is a bit tricky. It's going to take a oh, what in the world? There we go. Um, ah, there it is. So that's what it's going to look like. You're going to have three empty spaces in the top middle. Everything else will be filled up. There's your chest plate. Your booties. Something like this, I believe, if I'm correct. Okay. Do oh, no, wait. Now I remember what they are. Sorry, guys. That's my bad. No. Target found. Oops. Stupid team speak. Let me close. All right, guys, I'm back. Sorry about that. Um, I uh, accidentally skipped a step and started recording. What you're going to do is you're going to put your uh, plan up here and your single copper sheet. Oh, whoops, that's a double. I need a single. Uh oh. Well, I got one coming up though, so that's good. We're going to put our Take our helmet out. We're gonna put it right back into the fire because we want to keep that hot. A 
That's orange already. This guy's almost orange. So, come on. Don't worry, I'll redo it. And it's it's the same steps for every uh, piece of armor. With the second step is uh, you're going your first step is you're going to have your plan here and your single sheet for your helmet or your double sheet for anything else and you're just going to whack it until it gets into place second part is you're going to put your copper sheet here and your unfinished copper helmet there and you're going to weld it together you're going to get a stage two item from there you're going to put it up there and it's going to give you your final steps so we're just going to want to shrink it a couple times upset nope we're going to draw that back we're going to bend one two three light hit there we go almost perfect helmet. So uh, we have our copper helmet here. We're going to put this guy on. We're going to get rid of that old iron helmet. Later iron helmet. Got myself an awesome copper helmet now. Don't need that old vanilla iron. So uh, back to what we're doing. Let's see here. How to make the booties. Looks like the wiki's down. Which stinks for us. I have never. Oh, what's this? Oh, that's Chiselhead. <laughs> Chiselhead. Alright. Ah, shoot. Get back in here. Come back in. Alright. We're gonna instead go for the uh, booties here. Or not the booties, but the pants. As you can see, it's basically the same thing as the others, it's just it's like that. Let me check this really quick. Ah, shoot. Darn it. I, uh, I boo-booed. I boo-booed. I let the stuff sit for too long, and it, uh, got too hot. And now it's not hot enough. So. My bad. So, like I said, guys, we got to keep an eye out on that stuff. Um... I just looked at the wiki though, and the boots are the same as the helmet. You just need a single, a single, a single sheet, not a double sheet. So let's put these in here. Try and weld. I guess you are just not going to cooperate today, are you? Son of a gun. Well, if that's the case, we can at least take out our. Uh... No, we already did take it out. We're gonna put our grieve plan plans for our greaves here. I'm going to go ahead and put the helmet away. Let's see here. There we go. So, in you guys go. You're going to weld. We're going to do that. Get our copper sheet. Now that we got our other copper sheets going off here, or times two copper sheets, we will need three, and you will need three, or you will need two of each every time. So, as you can see, we got our first bit here. We're going to take our copper sheet here once it hits orange. Throw it in there, throw it with our plans. And... 
we're going to heavy hit once and light hit once. That will give us our unfinished copper chest plate one. We no longer need the plans here. So uh, what we need to do is we need to put that there and that there. And oh shoot. That's good. At least the other copper sheet's good. Nice and hot. And now that's not hot enough. Son of a gun. Just my day, you guys. It's just my day. My goodness, I'm really getting tired of this ghosting glitch. So, oh, we need flux. Flux there, we're going to weld these two together, bam. Then all you need to do is put it there. It's basically going to tell you to do the exact same as last time. There we go. Almost perfect copper chest plate, too. No longer need... Oh! I see you, zombie. Do I have a sword? No, I don't have a sword. Okay. Well, that's how you make armor, you guys. I will uh, try and figure out the uh, plate boots next episode. This is how we do it. And... Uh, I will talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.